If you had to guess who Sir Alex Ferguson said was the best 14 year old he had ever seen, who would you guess? Brian Giggs. Given away by Vieira. Possession needlessly surrendered by Arsenal. Giggs happy to just get the ball down the other end of the pitch, but can he do any more than that? Still, Giggs goes. He's through. He scored. The Manchester United corner. Maybe Paul Scholes. Foot on the throttle in the second half. Put it out by McCann. Maybe you guess a player from the current it's generation, Pogba. like Paul Pogba. Yes, he's also Wayne Rooney. He's that's an Ibrahimovic beaten here by Van der Horn. It's Pogba! He's a showman! And that's a showstopper! Believe it or not, it was none of those players. It was actually this guy, Ravel Morrison, who Fergie said was the best. So why didn't Morrison go on to be the superstar he had the potential to be? Ravel Morrison was born in Withenshaw, Manchester in February 1993. He grew up playing football for local youth teams before being scouted by Manchester United. He would join the Red Devils Academy where he would spend most of his teenage years. He signed his first contract in 2009 and his first professional contract in 2010. While in the ranks of Man U, Morrison began building a reputation as a generational talent with his dazzling dribbling, goal scoring, and playmaking ability. Let me try to put into perspective just how highly rated the youngster was. Gary Neville said in an interview, Ravel Morrison's ability was just a scandal. There are few players in central midfield who can beat people. Ravel could drift past them. Former United midfielder and Man U TV commentator Paddy Crerand, who watched and commentated on Ravel's youth games, claims Ravel was the best youngster he had seen since George Best. But if any anecdote says it all, it's Rio Ferdinand's story about how Sir Alex called him and Wayne Rooney over to watch Young Ravel in training one day. Ferdinand said, quote, Sir Alex called me and Waza over one day and said, look, this kid is better than you when you were a kid, Wayne. Better than Rio and Ryan Giggs. This is the best kid you'll ever see. This is Wayne Rooney we're talking about. You know, the one who scored a sensational game winner for Everton against an Arsenal side on a 30-match unbeaten run only a few days before his 17th birthday. Oh, what can he do? The one who scored a hat-trick in his Champions League debut. Wayne Rooney has a hat -trick at Old the one who at 18 was England's best player at Euro 2004 in a team loaded with world-class players. Yeah, that Wayne Rooney. <laughs> The highlight of Morrison's time in Man U's academy was winning the 2011 FA Youth Cup. This side for Man U was absolutely stacked. In the team with Michael Keane, Jesse Lingard, and Paul Pogba, Morrison was the star. The one player who stood out as the exceptional talent. So where are the stars of this Manchester United youth side now? Well. Michael Keane would command a £30 million fee from Everton after a fantastic season for Sean Dyche's Burnley. Jesse Lingard became a first team regular at Old Trafford, as well as a key member of the England squad that made it to the World Cup semi final in Russia. And Paul Pogba? He left for Juventus, became one of the best midfielders in the world, returned to United for a world record 90 million pound fee, and won the World Cup. As for Ravel, he was sold to West Ham for next to nothing, loaned out year after year, sold again to Lazio, loaned out some more, and has never once in his career cemented his place in a senior first team for longer than one season. So what happened? How could a prospect as revered as Ravel Morrison be so greatly surpassed by his peers? Unfortunately, this is where the story gets sad. Morrison was a troubled youth and was constantly getting into trouble off the pitch. 
His first big publicized incident came in 2011 when he admitted to two counts of witness intimidation, narrowly avoiding jail time. Later that year, he was convicted of criminal damage for throwing his girlfriend's phone out of a window. In 2012, he was charged by the FA for using a homophobic slur on Twitter. In 2014, he was charged with two counts of assault, one count of causing bodily harm, and one count of harassment, although he was later cleared for all of these charges. Morrison couldn't seem to stay out of the courtroom and out of the headlines for his off-field trouble. And remember, these are only Morrison's publicized incidents. It's said that he got into trouble constantly as a youngster, but managed to stay out of the headlines since he was a minor, less famous, or just not getting into any actual legal trouble. Ferguson and Manchester United did their best to stand by their troubled player and shield him from any outside criticism. And because of his exceptional ability, Ravel was afforded more chances to redeem himself than most would have received. In January 2012, however, Sir Alex Ferguson and Manchester United felt enough was enough and sold Morrison to West Ham United for a paltry £700,000. Ferguson, who still viewed Ravel as a top prospect, described his sale to West Ham as painful. Morrison left Man U having played just two matches for the first team, both forgettable appearances off the bench in the League Cup. This next part I'm going to breeze through, because to be honest, there really isn't much to speak of in terms of Morrison's career since his move to West Ham. After being loaned out by West Ham multiple times to championship clubs, he was eventually sold by the Irons to Lazio. In Italy, he never managed to secure a spot as a first team regular, and was criticized by Lazio boss Stefano Pioli for lacking professionalism and not making an effort to learn Italian. Interestingly, Ravel spent last season on loan at Atlas in Mexico's Liga and Mekis. So that brings us to today. While it's very easy and probably justified to write Ravel Morrison off as a failure and a bust, he is still only 25 years old at the time of posting this video. Right now, it's unclear where he will be playing for this upcoming season. Will he get another loan spell with Atlas? Will he try to break into Lazio's first team? Will an English club take a chance on him? The future remains unclear for Ravel Morrison, but with his troubled past and poor professional track record, it's unlikely that he'll have many suitors. I'll end on this quote from Sir Alex Ferguson. Sadly, there are examples of players who have similar backgrounds to Giggs or Cristiano Ronaldo who, despite enormous natural talent, just aren't emotionally or mentally strong enough to overcome the hurts of their childhood and their inner demons. Ravel Morrison might be the saddest case. He possessed as much natural talent as any youngster we ever signed, but he kept getting into trouble. It was painful to sell him to West Ham in January 2012 because he could have been a fantastic player. But over a period of several years, the problems off the pitch continued to escalate, and so we had little option but to cut the cord. So what are your thoughts on Ravel Morrison? Do you think it's possible for him to turn his career around? Would you want your club to take a chance on him? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.